This is Mike, we're at South By with Flyleaf. Hey. Hello. We heard you just came back from a wild trip to Africa. Yeah. It was amazing. We went to Rwanda. 14 years ago they had a genocide there. 800,000 people were killed and we got to see the aftermath of the community. My life has completely changed forever by the experience. The, the people there are so joyful and happy. There's this whole campaign of forgiving and reconciling with each other and they're living together. Like the people, the perpetrators are living together with the people who are victims and they're living in peace and their kids play together and they're intermarrying and it's incredible to see. It was the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. Makes you really appreciate everything you got. Thank you for being such a friend to me. Oh, I pray a friend for life. It's called a country of a thousand hills. And now a thousand smiles. Yeah, because their their kids are like they don't see white people very often. So every so every time they saw us, the kids would come out to the street and run real fast and wave, and they'd go mazungu mazungu. That means white person, white person, and they would wave. And if you waved at them, they got so excited. I will tell you what I feel. I'm contemplating phrases. When you come out of that, there's not really a lot of kind of makes you feels like you got you've been put in your place and. You have to, you've, it feels like you need a lot of time to go over the things that are important to you and what you do talk about and whether you're just using idle words all the time and you know how that can be dangerous or, or time wasting, you know. It's that feeling of speechlessness and, and almost like you need time to be respectful of what you just experienced. I'm gazing at eternity. Before we went on this trip, we'd planned to come here and do the show. And if they had asked us right after, we probably would have said no because of the difference, the stark difference in the, the t time we need to like process everything. Um, but we did want to come here because we wanted to we wanted to play for Austin that we haven't played for in a long time. It's our hometown. It's where we started. It's where we met everybody that helped us get where we are now. And and it's kind of like a homecoming in a way. What are you hoping your fans get from your next record now? We want to be honest. Like we want to, we want them to feel like we've really spoken who we are. Me and Pat both, we sat, started drawing because there's a lot of things that we saw. The communication was kind of little because we don't speak the language, but but it was, I don't know. So we have to figure out how to sit down and say what you can't say in in music, which is exactly what we want to do with music, you know. So it's it's going to be a good challenge. Please don't go just yet. Can we stay a moment, please? We can dance together. We can dance forever. Under your stars We just want to make sure that we um, that we show our hearts enough where people feel like um, there's hope and the same thing that, that we've yeah, been just doing. Just want to be honest with how I don't know it's going to be different since we've matured a lot and we've experienced a lot of new things. So I think that'll really come through in the yeah. writing. Hey, I'm Lacey. And I'm Jared. And we're Flyleaf, and you're watching Blender.com.